morning everyone and welcome back to Dialed. We've got an exciting couple weeks of racing coming your way, starting with World Championships this weekend here in Mont St. Anne and World Cup Finals next weekend in Snowshoe, West Virginia. Today in Mont St. Anne we've got the first ever e-bike World Championships, so let's go check out what all the buzz is about. We're here at the World E-Bike Champs, and this is the bike inspection. Hopefully she passes the test. Start with a wheel size rollout over there, and they got the little jig, so one revolution of the wheel, and then they tell us what number to program onto the bike. And uh, yeah, so basically we're using our OEM software, what they would use at the factory to program in that wheel size, make sure that it's the European spec, so 25k per hour top speed, and, uh, uh, and then they get a sticker and they stay in the little safe corral. And what's the rules for batteries and, and such? There's no rule for the battery capacity, just that you can't carry a spare one. Um, and then the regulations are about uh, 250 watt nominal maximum power. And uh, uh, what was there another one? Yeah, just the top speed and the, and the power output. We just came from North Star and uh, arrived last night in the in the afternoon, and uh, now we're uh, going to race the world's first e-bike race. So, e-bike world championship. Anyway, they've had e-bike races. I've never done one, but we're here at the world championships, and we're going to try. I got one lap of practice in, so I'm feeling confident. <laughs> Hopefully, my battery makes the distance. Nice. Yeah. I'm a heavy guy, so I might be a bit heavier than some of these other ex-cross country guys, but um, yeah, hopefully get off the start well and uh, get into it. All right, and tell yeah. me about your bike. Uh, yeah, my bike, well, I just got this bike uh, today as well. It's a, a new, new bike they're working on at GT. And we've got the Fox on there. We've got one lap of practice in, so hopefully the uh, settings are dialed and away we go. <laughs> Uh, we came up here thinking there would be a plug since it's an e-bike race and you would want to charge your battery. There was no plugs, so we had to pull one of the fridges out in the tent. And uh, we've run our, our uh, extension lead and we've got it plugged in now. We're ready to race. All right, have a good race, Wayne. Cheers, mate. Boom. Thank you. Dre, tell me about your e-bike racing. Well, you know, it's the first ever uh, world championships for e-biking. So, uh, historical moment. Thought it'd be a really, uh, a really good place to just uh, check it out and see what's going on. Maybe be part of history. Hey, tell me about your ride for the race. Well, I, you know, there's some real ringers here, um, but the the course is uh, really technical and well designed. I think it really uh, caters to the strengths of e-bikes. A lot of skill required for the downhills, a lot of motor required for the uphills. So I think they uh, they've done a great job of laying out the course. Now it's up to the athletes to prove the bikes. And what's your bike for the race? I'm running the uh, Instinct Power Play uh, by Rocky Mountain Bikes. We've got a few secret, uh, you know, we've lightened it up with uh, carbon this, carbon that. But uh, as a whole, I mean, I think the course, uh, the course is burly. And so, you know, you're going to need the skills are going to really be what's going to make the difference in the end of the day. And what's your game plan for the race? Well. I'm a bit of a slow starter these days. Might be something to do with the vintage, but uh, get out there, get on course, uh, ease into it, get the groove on. It's four laps, so we, we had a couple good laps yesterday. Get to know the course, there's some technical features. Keep it upright, go fast. Nice, have a good race, Dre. Thanks, buddy.
What do you guys think so far? There's some skin suits with knee pads. That's just wrong. Uh, but everything should... else is cool. It's pretty good to watch. I know, it's cool watching catch air over the bridge. <laughs> Whiskey throttle it. <laughs> You gonna do some e-bike racing next year? I'm just looking right now. Um, <laughs> it's actually interesting. Uh, different brand, different engine, so and different riders as well. Coming from XC Marathon to uh, down the races, so yeah, it's interesting to watch. And uh, yeah, why not next year? <laughs> yeah, nice. Come on, mate! Come on! Oh boy! Get it! Yeah! Uh, I struggled, but uh, it was bloody good fun, actually. <laughs> Once I figured out how to get the bike in the right bit of the power. And probably need to lose a few kilos for next time. <laughs> Some of those guys were going uh, pretty bloody fast up those hills. Uh, you know, that was like a full on, like my legs were feeling like they were going to cramp at the end, charging hard. There's a race going on, like it was, it was uh, physical, you know, like keeping it upright in those rock gardens. I felt at one point I might have flatted. Some guy crashed in front of us at the beginning. The guys were giving her on the descent. It's just like, no, but I should have next time. So, 16 or something. Yeah, yeah. 14 and a half, 15. And a half. Figuring out what these bikes can do, this course was a true challenge for the engines, the motors, and the uh, jockeys aboard. Nice. Brooke, how's the track looking this year? Looks good. Um, it's been uh, been ridden in by the masters, so it actually looks looks uh, really good. Normally, the track probably never gets touched until uh, we come here, so it's all. All pretty soft and um, now it's hard pack everything's uh, yeah looking good and pretty dry too so uh, should be uh, any new sections or anything? Mm, actually not everything's the same they're pretty much widened stuff up there was tighter tight last year so yeah it's gonna be super fast for sure it'll be good though yeah how many worlds have you raced I raced, made the British team 23 times, I think. So I raced 23 World Championships. First one in 1993. I'd not even raced the World Cup, and I rode World Champs before I even did my first World Cup. Nice. Um, How many times at St. Anne? St. Anne, I've been here, I don't know, what we're on, 25 years here, 23 years. I've missed like the last three or four years but I raced here probably 15, 16 times, 17 times. No, nah, maybe about 15 times. I won, won four times, I think. Nice, and what's going on this year for World Champs for you? World Champs is here, Mont Saint Anne. First day, been up on the hill, walking down it. It's been humid, been little black flies out all, all the way down the track. And um, now we're just hassling Jordi. Wednesday here at Mont Saint Anne. Today is normally our busy day. It's track walk, so we're servicing all the product. It's also World Champs, so you get a lot of people that you don't see. So a lot of old clapped out product that we're trying to get going. Rain's coming in. We're still a little bit busy, and it's it's a tricky venue because we don't have the support that we have in Europe, since most races are Euro based. So we're kind of scrambling to get parts get everything sorted it's a smaller space that we're not quite used to but we're making do and i think we're almost ready to get out of here all right that's a wrap for day one world champs here in mont saint anne the fox boys had a busy day servicing and dialing in all the new graphics for the world champs bikes we also witnessed the first ever world champs e-bike race with windmasters and andreas hessler and downhill practice starts tomorrow so be sure to share your comments and we'll see you tomorrow